rescuing a casualty through a deviation. In this scenario, we're going to approach the casualty from below, passing the deviation and the knot that the casualty left there. Unfortunately, we can't untie the knot because our weight is attached to it. The process is the same as passing a normal knot, except here it's more difficult because we'll have less space to work with. You can push the deviation up as far as you can. then standing up, attach a crawl above the knot. Once you have passed the knot, the next step is to go past the deviation. Putting as much space between you and the knot as possible, you can then attach the spare carabiners of the deviation on that piece of rope. Leave the knot there as you may need that to pull your line back to the knot when you descend with the casualty later on. Ascend to the casualty and rescue the casualty using an appropriate technique. Once the casualty is attached to you, you can descend back to the deviation. This may be quite difficult to do if there is a lot of tension on the rope. In this situation, I'm using a cow tail to pull myself closer. I'm also going to detach the friction carabiner that I was using to descend with the casualty. reattaching the friction carabiner as soon as I can. Continuing to descend to an appropriate height to pass the deviation. Attaching the deviation above my devices. Now I detach the carabiners below my devices and I am ready to continue descending to the ground.